In this video, we'll show you how to start adding injuries and notes for your athletes. Start by going to your injury database. You'll first want to start by selecting the athlete by their last name that we're working with today. You can type in their last name and filter the list to find that athlete. Once selected, just click the Add button and you'll now be opening up a new injury to add for this athlete. You'll want to start in your status box by inputting the correct date and time that the injury occurred at. You'll also be able to track things like your return to play date as well as when the injury is closed out. When inputting dates in both the return to play date and close lines, you'll see that the days out field and days open field will auto populate with how many days out the athlete was and open the injury was. Lastly, down at the bottom, you can confirm the sport the athlete was injured in. Then in your action box, you want to select the athletic trainer who's doing the evaluation today, what type of action they are taking with the athlete, and if this athletic trainer is referring the athlete out for the injury. Now we'll move to the description area where we'll actually start putting in injury information. You'll start by the specific body area injured. Then based on that body area, you'll have a list of body parts to choose from. And then you can even apply a side if that corresponds to the injury. Then you'll see the injury line at the bottom opening up where we can put in a specific injury diagnosis, the site that that injury occurred at, as well as severity of the injury. If you need to add multiple injuries for the same body area and body part, you can hit the Add button on the left-hand side and add in additional records. Now if we go to the tabs at the top, you'll see there's a background tab where you can add things to your injury regarding the mechanism, the onset, what level the athlete is, what position were they playing when they were injured, were they wearing any protective equipment at the time of injury, what activity was the athlete injured during? What season was the athlete injured in? Where did the athlete get injured? What environmental aspects contributed to this injury? And lastly, what surface was the athlete injured on? Then we can move to your attachments tab where you can upload any documents pertaining to this injury that you have on file or scanned in. Simply click the add button on the left hand side Find the file where you saved it locally onto your computer, title your document, and then save. This will now permanently attach this record to the injury profile for you, so you can have access to it at any time. Then, if you click on the Notes tab, this will take you to where you can document any injury notes for this record. You'll want to click on the Add Notes button on the right, and a text box will then open up for you to document your notes. If you like to use SOAP notes, the athletic trainers can click on the SOAP button and that will pull up a breakdown of all four fields for their SOAP note that they can use. Also under this section, we have the Evaluate button and drop down menu at the top where they can select specialized tests. So they'll simply click on the drop down menu and select the type of injury they're working with, hit the Evaluate button. That will populate the tests and allow the athletic trainers to score each test they would use for that specific injury and they can also add comments for the tests as well. Once they're done they can hit the save button in the top right and these test results will auto populate into their objective field for you within the SOAP note. Once they are done with their SOAP note they'll hit save in the top right corner and that'll insert that into the text box. They can then hit save and close to end this note. If they want to make any additional progress notes they can hit add note again and then type into the text box their additional notes. Lastly, before they save the injury, if they want to update game and practice status for this athlete, they can click the Update Athlete button. That brings them back to their athlete profile where they can modify their practice and game status for coaches' reports, as well as provide any additional notes regarding the injury and also add the athlete to the watch list if they determine this is necessary. Once they're done here, they can hit Save and this will then save every change that they've just made and add this new injury into the system. Also in the injury record, you'll notice icons above the tabs which will allow you to directly add a treatment, doctor's orders, insurance claim, medication, referral, equipment sign-out, surgery, and your available concussion tests for an athlete. If you have further questions, please contact your sales rep at CSMI.